Good morning, friends. Welcome to Story with Teacher Lori. And yes, today I am wearing my pizza onesie. It is totally a pizza onesie. I will stand up so you can see my pepperoni arms. And it's got a hood. And it's my pizza onesie. Are you wondering why I'm wearing my pizza onesie today? Well, because the book that we're going to read is called <gasps> Pizza Day. Maybe today is a good time today to make pizza, count the pepperoni, count some cheese, do that pizza song we all like. Or if you have a kind of a good old fashioned, get some English muffins, make some English muffins toaster pizza in the microwave. Or just think about pizza. What kind of pizza do you like? Let me hear you. Did most of you say cheese? Lots of cheese? I think most of you said cheese, just a guess. But I have my pizza onesie on and my pizza onesie even has pockets because how cool is this? My pizza onesie has pockets. Cause you know, everybody's pizza onesie needs pockets. We're gonna put your pizza in your pocket. So I'm gonna take down my hood, and adjust my glasses. We gotta get our circle hands ready. Let's rub them to start. Take a deep breath in with me. Warm them up. Are they warm? Smell that pizza in. Can you almost smell the pepperoni and the cheese? Smell it. One more, take a deep breath in. Smell. We're gonna pretend our hands are pizza. We're gonna blow our hot pizza so we can eat our piece. Ready? Deep breath in and Blow it so it cools off. Ready? Keep up in and blow your piece of pizza so it's cooled off. One more. Keep breath in and blow so it's cooled off. Ready? Take a bite. Ow. Oh. No, don't bite your arm. Even if you have pizza ones, yeah. Okay. Put your hands up. Put your hands down. Roll them very slowly. Roll them very fast. Put your hands up. Put your hands down. Bite your pizza slowly. Ow. Don't put it in your mouth or your fingers. Ow. Bite it very fast. Arr. Put your hands up. Put your hands down. Wiggle one hand very slowly. Wiggle the other hand very fast. Put them in your lap. You ready to hear our story today? Pizza Day by Melissa EY. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's by Melissa. Pizza Day from Scholastic. Oh, look at all those tomatoes. Looks like tomatoes and mushrooms. Pizza Day. I am going to put my pizza hood up so you can see my pizza hood for my pizza day. Okay, I'm ready. Zip it up to read pizza. Day. Today is pizza day. I get to help daddy in the garden. Caesar helps too. Caesar, the dog. What a beautiful garden they have. The seeds Daddy and I planted in the spring have turned into lots of vegetables and herbs. And the signs say tomatoes and peppers. I like tomatoes. This is what we gather from our garden and bring into the house. Five juicy red tomatoes plucked from the vine. One, two, three, four, five. Four sprigs of basil pinched from the stalk. One, two, three, four. Basil smells delicious. You should ask if you have some in the cupboard, mass mom or dad. Maybe you can smell some basil. That would be a good sensory way to smell how we're making our pizza today. Three small carrots pulled from the ground. One, two, three. Two round onion bulbs dug up from the earth. That'd be another one to smell and one shiny green pepper clipped from the plant. We wash the vegetables and get ready to make pizza. 
Now, um, and I will go wash my hands since I itch my nose. If you're making pizza, that's a great way to learn about pizza in a different way, is while you're making it, smell the ingredients before you taste it. Look at them with your eyes, see their shape, feel them with their hands. How do those tomatoes feel? How do those onions feel? Are they bumpy? Are they smooth? What about the basil? And then smell it. Does it smell good to you? Does it smell bad? Before you taste it. Different way to, to um, experience pizza. First, we have to make the dough. Daddy measured the measures the yeast, water, oil, salt, and flour, and we pour each one into a big bowl. I mix it all together with a wooden spoon. It turns into a big, sticky, squishy lump. So he measured it. Because pizza and recipes, you need to measure things. Daddy dumps the bowl, the dough onto a board. Thump. We both knead it with our hands. The big, sticky, squishy lump becomes smooth and shiny. Daddy says we have to let the dough rest for an hour or so so it can rise. We let it take a little nap while we start the tomato sauce. Sweet dreams, pizza dough, I whisper. He puts it, because it needs to be napping to rise under a warm blankie. So I put the little towel over it. Daddy chops the tomato and carrots and onions and we brought in from the garden. Maybe if you're cutting vegetables up, maybe mommy and daddy can let you try to cut them too, but maybe with a butter knife and lots of supervision. Don't try this at home or don't do it without asking. And don't say teacher Lori said, it's time for me to cut some vegetables. Do it together as a family. I know you. <laughs> I know you want to be independent, but let's do this with parent help. It starts to smell yummy in our kitchen as the vegetables and herbs cook in the oil. The sauce needs to cook for a while or so. The vegetables can soften. Now it's time for the sauce to take a little nap. Sweet dreams, tomato sauce, I say. See, everything is taking a while. Cooking takes time. Cooking takes time. There are lots of things to do outside while the dough and the sauce rest. We play catch. We slay dragons. We wrestle a wild beast to the ground. Then it's time to finish making the pizza. Wake up, I say as I uncover the dough. It's grown twice as big. I get to punch it down. Wham, 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 because they're getting the air out of it. Daddy plops it into a baking sheet and rolls it into a big circle. This will be the crust. Now, most pizza sometimes is what shape? I said a circle. Mm -hmm. Or you can make a pizza in the shape of a square. What about a triangle pizza? Triangle pizza? I bet we could make pizza into a lot of shapes. Wake up, I shout again as Daddy uncovers the pan. The sauce is thick and darker red now. We put it in a blender. I push the button. Bzzz. The sauce wakes up. Maybe leave it chunky. I think it'd be maybe good chunky because I like vegetables. Now we can put the pizza together. Start. One, roll out dough. Two, add sauce. They added a scoop of sauce. Three, Add toppings. They added green peppers, tomatoes, and mushrooms. Four, add cheese. Finish. Then we set it in the oven to wait. Notice the grown-up sets it in the oven to wait. While the pizza bakes, we put away our gardening tools and toys. We brush the wild beasts and give him fresh water. Soon, it's time to eat pizza. So they cleaned up while they waited. Daddy takes it out of the oven and slices it into triangles. Again, that's an adult job. I put a few basil leaves on my slice. Oh, that would be delicious to try. I really like basil. And take a big bite. Now, if there's something on your pizza that you don't like, say more than just cheese, it's okay to try new things. Take a no thank you bite or a no thank you lick. Try something. You might just like it. And before you say you don't like it, maybe still give it a little taste or a little try. And if you really don't like it, then it's okay. At least you tried. That's the main point. At least you tried. Mmm, I love pizza day. And in the back of this book, if you look, 
There's, veg there's recipes for garden pizza and how to assemble it. And look, and actually it says anatomy of pizza, which I think is kind of fun. Saw, which makes anatomy, it makes up something. So the anatomy of pizza here, it says sauce, toppings, it says use whatever you like. Fresh basil, crust made from dough, and shredded cheese. That's what makes up the anatomy of a pizza. And it does say, note, please take care of ch to keep children distance from burners on the stove. I'm glad it reminded us in the end of the book. Did this book make you hungry for pizza? Or is it my pizza onesie that made you hungry for pizza? I know I'm hungry now for pizza. So let's catch those books. Those, those books. Those bees. Maybe those bees are hungry for pizza. Bzzz. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. <gasps> Ouch. It stung me. One day he'll learn. But I'm talking to my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm talking to my baby bumblebee. They said what? I'm sorry. How can I help you? It was an accident. I won't sting you again. Can I have some pizza? Is it ready? I think I need a nap. They could say a lot of things. But you talk to them and use your words. So, I let go of my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I let go of my baby bumblebee. They're happy to be free. Lots of love. Maybe have some pizza today. Or put on a cozy onesie if you got it. Send me a picture if you want. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Love you. Take care of each other.